Here we are guys, week three of education and really interesting topic this week which is VCP um, and I'm just going to do an introduction to it then we'll get into um, me having a crack at presenting it to an empty room. Um, at VCP, if you haven't heard about it, is a core fundamental of BNI, has been for a long time and it stands for visibility, credibility and profitability and there's been a bit of a thing in the past where that's been regarded as a formula that if you're visible and credible you will be profitable. That's absolutely not true, and we'll go through why that is as part of the presentation. But where for groups that have heard about VCP before and perhaps are used to the idea, it should just trip off people's tongue actually. As soon as you say VCP, everyone in the group should know why, because it's absolutely core to everything we do in BNI. If you're not visible and credible, um, you won't be you you won't be profitable, and you shouldn't be profitable. Um, so it's kind of a reverse formula in some ways. So, um, but we're going to do a slightly different take on it this time, and it's called Why VCP is like an ATM or an automatic um, transfer machine where you take your money out of. So, um, getting into the presentation, so slide one just says why is VCP like an ATM, and hopefully most people in your group would have heard of VCP, if not, we'll explain it. So, first slide up is visibility, V equals visibility, so you, actually I'm going to um, start that again, sorry. So, I'm going to... Uh, now present it. So good morning everyone. Uh, this week the presentation is on VCP and why VCP is like an ATM and if you haven't heard of VCP before it's part of uh, BNI and it stands for V is visibility, C is credibility and P is profitability and it under, under, under um, scores everything we do in BNI. Everything we do about BNI is producing visibility and credibility so we have the opportunity to be profitable and everything you do in um, BNI will either increase your VC, and we have visibility and credibility, or reduce it, which will have that impact possibly on your profitability. So what, what is visibility? What is visibility? Well, visibility means being seen so members know who you are and what you do. And that is the first thing you do in BNI is you start educating people about who you are and what you actually do in your category. And the bare minimum to achieve visibility is turning up each week at the meeting. And that's why we have an attendance requirement. If you're not visible, um, you're not seen, then you can't possibly move through to credibility. Or well, putting another way, it is A is for attendance. Another way of looking at visibility is doing a great sales pitch, um, turning up at events, being on leadership team, also adds to your visibility, your presence inside the group, turning up early for the meeting, don't leaving, not leaving late, not sending a lot of subs, it's all to do with visibility in that area. Um, C is for credibility. So once you're visible and they, so in other words, members know what you are and what you do, then they need to know you're good at it. And being good at it, I'm never going to refer someone I don't think is good. So you've got to build credibility, and that is doing what you say you're going to do, following up on referrals, giving feedback on referrals. It's um, being part of the leadership team. It's um, giving referrals. It's bringing visitors. Everything you do in the group takes away or adds to your credibility and I imagine in our group you will look at people in the room and think who is visible and who is credible. But another way of putting it is T is it's T for trust. So are you trusted? Are you trusted? And if you're not trusted, it's unlikely you'll do well. So P is for profitable. So we're profitable in BNI when we get a return on our time and money. So that's the cash we pay for our sub and the time we put in. And so another way of putting it is M for money. And the thing about profitability is it actually is exponential. So year on year, you'll become more profitable in BNI the longer you keep your visibility and credibility up. You'll get more and more referrals or referrals. So another way to look at it is M is for money. So those three things mean it's an ATM, right? So you can look at your BNI membership like an ATM. And what's key is if you're attending, building trust, then you might be able to take out some money from your membership in the way of referrals and profitability from referrals. If you're not putting those things in, there'll be no money in the ATM to take out. So when you go there, it's going to go, sorry, decline. Even if you've got an overdraft to arrange with the bank, sooner or later they're going to want their money back. So if you go into deficit on AT, um, on your visibility and credibility in the group, you've got to put it back in. Otherwise, eventually you become non-profitable and obviously your membership, you'll leave the group. So that's why if you think in terms of an ATM, you've got to be attend, have trust, and then you have the possibility of making some money. So why is it not a formula? This is um, a pretty interesting graph that um, I made up a few uh, years or so ago. And what it shows is you've got three circles um, that make 
an, an intersection of profitability, if you remember your um, primary school graphs. So in that sweet spot in the middle, that's when you can be profitable. So you've got to have VCP as a member, your group's got to be of a decent size, you've got to be operative in your hub and you've got to be engaged, but then your industry is really important. So if you're a DVD store in BNI at the moment, right now your industry is dying, so it's very unlikely we can help you make you profitable. And that's why some categories in BNI do really, really well, and some don't. They're just hard to refer, or they're in a bad part of the industry, um, and so that profitability, so if you make one of those circles smaller, you'll go out of profitability. So if your VCP is small, and you, you won't have an intersection of profitability with your group and your industry. So um, that, that is why some people are never profitable in BNI and leave never having achieved profitability, even though they had visibility and credibility. Um, so in summary, think about what your visibility and credibility, what your visibility and credibility is. Are you still creating it? Are you still in that? It, will it take six months to achieve uh, visibility and credibility in a group generally? Are you still getting to that point? Are you maintaining it? Are you doing the things you need to be doing it? Are you growing it or are you dissipating it by not doing the things you need to do? And if you have visibility and credibility but aren't still profitable, that chart we saw on the slide before might help explain why that is and you might need to change something about your industry or your group to become profitable. So that's it for this week. Um, it's a really easy one, but it underpins everything we do in education from now on. Thank you.